Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. Let me start with a little disclosure here. I was given this game for free with the intent on doing a review on it. However, it can be a positive or negative review. Just wanna let you guys know, wanna be upfront with you guys that I did not pay anything for this game. It was a free copy uh, to do a review on it. So this is what the review is going to be. Uh, it's gonna be either a positive or negative depending on how things play out. So based on the initial loading up on the game, uh, the graphics, based on this look pretty good. So let's go ahead and start a new classic mode profile. As you can notice, there are add-ons, it looks like. I haven't discovered any as of yet, uh, but there are some add-ons, which is excellent. So let's go ahead and get started. I fiddled with the game and audio settings a little bit already, uh, but I have not started an actual game. So let's go ahead and do that and give you some perspective as to what this game is going to be like. Okay, so this is our garage, as you can see. We have our first customer. Do you hear the phone ringing? No, I do not. Let me turn up the sound a little bit. Uh, it could be a new customer. Go to the desk and pick up the phone. Okay, let's do that. So here's our desk, I suppose. That's the only thing. It looks like a desk over here. That's uh, the computer. Oh, that's the phone there. So left click to use. In this menu, you can view all of your waiting orders. Some of them are locked because you need more XP to take them. Here you can take or if you don't like them, past jobs without consequences, new jobs will appear here every now and again. Cool. So there's obviously like a mission scenario here. They give you uh, different orders you need to do. So we have a Royal Bianco and there's different types of job categories. Does it show? No. Uh, so this job description is general running gear control and repair list provided. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and take the job. So I suppose we have a car there. Excellent. So here we have the car. So we want to go into different modes. We can disassemble the parts if we need to. Uh, we have different controls. We can go to an assemble mode. We can go into toggle body mode, which is H. Doesn't appear to want to do that. Oh, there we go. So there you can see if you press C, toggles the conditions mode. So that's the conditions of that. There you go. It gives you an idea of that. Now uh, you can move the vehicle as well to wherever you want to. Always keep your workplace clean and organized. Repairs require requiring access to the wheel suspension will only be possible on the lifter. And others can be done elsewhere. Take a new job if you need some clear some space in the middle of the workplace. There we go. Cool. All right, we don't want to move that. So let's go ahead and open the repair orders. What do we actually have to do here? Here you can see the details of your order. If you don't like the job, you cannot perform all or you cannot perform all the tasks. You can always end the job. You will get a refund for the task you've already done, but you'll miss the bonus for finishing the job. In future, the orders will be more demanding and you'll have to locate broken parts yourself instead of having them written on a list. Please note the minimum part condition bar on the right, it shows the minimum part condition required to fulfill the order. Okay, so minimum part condition, 66%. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. So here's what we need to find. We have not fixed any of that yet. Okay, good. So let's open the inventories. So what exactly do we have? We have nothing, we have engines, brakes. So we don't have any inventory as of yet. So we're just looking at our car as of right now. So let's go ahead, press two. What does two do? Interesting. So we can open up the door, we can close the door. So it said running gear. If we go into the repair order, it says front shock absorber, lower suspension arm, wheel hub bearing. Okay, so we're gonna have to, looks like we're gonna have to move the car. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's move it to the left lifter. There we go. And then we're lifting it up right there. Excellent. So if we go on to disassemble parts, so we actually need the suspension. So let's examine this part disassembly. In this mode, you can unmount parts from the car. Each part can only be accessed from a particular section of the car. So if you, if you're looking for looking in the wrong places, you won't be able to unmount the part. Always check the part accessing by moving cursor over it. If the part is blocked by another part, you have to unmount it. Okay, so uh, one of the things we have to do is we open the repair court, uh, front shock absorber cap. So here's the shock absorber. So let's go ahead and can we move this whole thing? How do we actually remove it? Oh, disassemble part. So right click. All right, there we go. We can take the tire off now. That was a bit, that was a bit strange. All right, so we are looking for, 
we are looking for the front suspension. So there's a brake servo, front shock absorber. Uh, let's look at the top here. So if we look up here, there's a shock absorber cap. So that's the actual part we need to change. So if we look, front shock absorber cap. Good. So let's go ahead and look at the part, which is right there. Disassemble the part. Perfect. So we've taken off the front absorber, front shock absorber cap. Okay, cool. So let's go over to the other side and examine the other side. Take that off. Okay. And let's see if we can't back out. Parts assembled. In this mode, you can mount parts in their places as transparent parts silhouette will appear. Okay. So this is the examine mode, part diagnosis. Okay. So if I want to move around, how would I go about doing that? Oh, okay. That's a bit strange. So it looks like you have to, you can, if we go to disassemble mode, it doesn't have like, it's weird because it doesn't have like a free range scenario. So we're looking for front shockers or lower suspension arm. Okay, so maybe this would have been a good thing to do. So suspension, condition unknown. It'd be nice if it was just a one click as opposed to like three, like holding it down. Okay, we want to go back to the assemble mode. Uh, no, we can't actually. Uh, let's check this one while we're here. We want to disassemble this. Yeah, so like having to hold down the button is a bit strange for this. It'd be nice if it was just like a, hey, one click. All right, so this is the one we need to, we need to get two lower suspension arms for this. All right, there's no sprint, okay. Yeah, but it's a it's a bit interesting actually because like um, uh, lower suspension arms. So we need one, two of those because it needs to be above sixty percent. And we want to go into assemble mode. And let's see if we can't find that part there. Oh, there it is. Uh, this guy right here. There we go. Yeah, some of this would be a little bit. It's interesting um, how it's set up this way. So if, you, if you're if you looking for something where, if you really want like a bit more, I don't know. It's a bit strange because the way it works is like, you know, you kind of have to, you're like forced into a certain, you're forced in like certain weird angles to look at stuff. And it's not intuitive, I've discovered, um, to actually do that. There we go. So that should be the job done now. Car is complete, cannot perform this action. Rim, oh right, I guess we should put the tires back on first. All right, so. What else do we need to do? Can we finish the job now? There we go. Excellent, so now that's how that, that's how the jobs, each job works. So there's each individual, in, individual job has a different thing. So here you go. If we, uh, so this is engine parts, filter needs replacing, engine power has failed general running repair. So there's no, doesn't seem to be any kind of time restraint on this. So if you want to, um, if you want to just do it for, just try them out and just see what's what you can, it seems like it's possible to do. Um, the only difference is you have to, of course, you know, adjust it accordingly to where you want to do it. So for example, if you have multiple jobs on the road, so for example, if I take this job and I want to move this now, I want to put it on the car lifter. So now I can take another job at the same time and then just the car rolls in basically. And as it rolls in, you can just do whatever you want. Uh, so you can work on two jobs at the same time if you really want to. It doesn't appear to be a time limit to it. Uh, so you can just work on it, like I said, for as long as you want. Let's move this into the right lifter, I guess. There you go. So that's how, one, that's how the jobs work with, um, that's the jobs work in terms of doing the jobs. And each of them has their own little repair order. So ignition coil needs to be repaired. And eventually what happens is as they get more difficult, you need to figure out what needs to be actually uh, repaired. So here's repair with parts exceeding minimum conditions. So need to be, all the parts need to be 71% or more, it looks like. So one of the more interesting aspects of Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 is that you can actually go ahead and take your car out and test drive it as a way of determining whether 
something is wrong. So if you go to the old factory test track, for example, we'll pick our car, we'll go there. And what it is is basically it gives you like a little bit of a run with the car you're working on. So for example, we're just working on an older, a small little car here. So what it allows us to do is it allows us to test run the car. So once you get some more interesting cars down the line, it'll be kind of a, an interesting little aspect of the game. So here we are, uh, test driving the car. So all it is is you do an acceleration test, like so. So we're just doing the acceleration test right here. And then you go around this little slalom section like so. Kind of an interesting little way of testing out your car to see what's wrong with it. It'd be interesting if you added the aspect of if you damaged your car here, um, you could actually you know, have to fix more and pay out of your, uh, your own pocket. I don't know if that's actually a thing, um, but it's kind of an interesting little aspect having this little test run test track here so you can see what's what so there you go that's another little aspect of the game that's kind of a little kind of pretty cool actually it gives you a chance to test out the car uh, see what's wrong with it and once you go through the, all the tests that you have at the factory uh, what you'll do is you'll go back to your shop obviously in this case and then what you'll get is a little like examination of all the all the things you think are wrong with the car and it'll give you a percentages based on what you discovered in the car. So here we go. So here's all the parts conditions based on the the little examine, examination report we just did based on what we, uh, what we saw. So cool. Another little aspect of the game I thought was kind of interesting. There you go. So in terms of graphics, in terms of graphics, it does look, the game's pretty solid actually. It uh, looks pretty good on the inside, like the car parts themselves. So if we take a look over here, Take a look at the engine. It's not too bad. Um, I have it on um, high. You could probably change it to ultra and it wouldn't look a whole lot different, but you can go in and take a look at each of the different functions. But graphics look pretty darn good. Um, so for example, each each engine has its own little look. Uh, so that's the exhaust manifold there. So each engine has its own little look. Each car has its own little look too. Uh, there are other modes you can play. That's the classic mode right there. So for example, uh, there is also a car showroom, so you can see the different types of cars. So if we're going to go to the uh, the Mayhem M8, for example, we can do so. And I'm not sure what the car showroom is exactly, but it does allow you to do a couple different things here. So it works out fairly well. Let's take a look at this. So this is the so you can change the color, look at the different types of cars, as you can see here. Uh, Pretty interesting stuff in terms of what you're looking for. The loading is a bit um, a bit more than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. I guess it depends on how many jobs you have at that particular time. And it could be more or less, it seems like. So this time it seems to be taking more than the last time in terms of how long this is going to take. So here we are back at our things about Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 is the fact that you can get upgrades. So some of the tasks that take forever to do that just you keep doing the same tasks over and over again, they've actually added some of the general tools which actually make some of the same tasks uh, faster. For example, faster unbolting or fast assembly or disassembly or fast manual examination. So these little things really add a little bit to the game. So instead of doing the same things all over again at the same time, like time and time again, you can speed it up a little bit by getting some of these upgrades. So you can customize the way your garage looks a little bit. So for example, if you want to have, oh, it looks like you have no upgrade points. So you can, you can upgrade your garage. Uh, you can upgrade your garage if you want to, but you do need to have uh, experience points to do so. So uh, one of the another interesting aspects of the game is the repair tools aspect. So if I go here and I have uh, a rear suspension arm that I want to try and repair, I can go ahead and do that but I have a 40% chance to repair. And that's another aspect of the uh, upgrade you can get. So you can upgrade your tool repair to level one, which is a 50% chance, 60, 70, 80, 90, et cetera. I think 90 is the highest, but kind of an interesting way of, uh, instead of having to sell your excess gear or excess you know, items and whatnot, you can actually repair them and you can use them again, so. In terms of replayability, I don't know. I don't know what the replayability is. Once the mods start coming out for this game, I imagine that there would be quite a bit of replayability, if I'm honest. Uh, it would be kind of cool to see uh, what uh, what um, people have to say about it, really. It would be kind of cool, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with this, so yeah. But uh, for right now, the mods are limited, as far as I know, so. So let me just give you a rundown. The graphics are fairly solid. 
the gameplay is um, it's a bit different. If you're used to, it's a bit of a point and click, and then uh, there's a bit of problem solving involved and whatnot. So depending on the job itself, but uh, the gameplay itself is not too bad actually. Um, it's a, it's a car mechanic simulator. It's not meant to be like you know fast paced stuff. There's a bit of problem solving involved. There's a bit of you know. Um, discovering how to get get to a certain part, for example, if you want to get to the suspension, what do you need to do to take the suspension off, etc. Uh, so it is kind of interesting in that regards. And as I mentioned, in terms of replayability, uh, it could have a, quite a bit of replayability factor or like a an interesting you know component with, with the mods and once they start coming out. So that'll be kind of cool. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Anyways, folks, that's my, that's it for me for today. My name is Ian Robson. This has been a review of Car Mechanic Simulator 2015, and I'll catch you guys later.